The FBI is now joining the manhunt for convicted murderer Geroid Price. A federal arrest warrant was issued earlier this month. This is a story we've been covering for months. Price was released from prison 16 years early from a mandatory 35 year sentence. In 2003, he was convicted of murder in the death of Carl Smalls Jr. In a controversial legal move, Price was granted early release from a New Mexico prison last December. Back in April, the South Carolina Supreme Court ordered him back to prison. Price has been on the run since. The FBI says he has ties to New York, North and South Carolina, Georgia and New Mexico. The agency is offering a $30,000 reward for information leading to his arrest. You're asked to call 1-800-CALL-FBI or send a tip to tips.fbi.gov. The trial of Alec Murdoch was one of the most closely watched in South Carolina's recent history, and the judge at the center of it all is Judge Clifton Newman. He sat down exclusively with today's show's Craig Melvin for the first TV interview since the trial. Murdoch was convicted of killing his wife and his younger son at the family's hunting estate in Colleton County. Well, I probably shouldn't have been surprised. Uh, you know, high-profile lawyer, death of a wife, death of a child. Um, accusations of stealing millions of dollars from clients, um, allegations of a lawyer hooked on drugs. Um, it had all the, the ingredients for something of major public interest. Murdoch, the once prominent South Carolina attorney, is now in prison serving a life sentence. You can watch the full interview right now on WYFF4.com. Greenville's NAACP branch is responding after a statewide call to action. This Saturday, members of the South Carolina NAACP will host a prayer vigil and a rally at the State House. Members have voiced concern over open carry laws that were passed, the lack of laws expanding Medicaid or reducing poverty, and the lack of hate crime laws. Will not rest until justice, civil, and human rights, equality, equity overflows from the White House to the State House into all our houses. South Carolina is one of three states along with Wyoming and Arkansas with no hate crime laws on the books. Check this out, the city of Greenville is featured in a travel show called In Transit. We spoke with the host of the show, Dave Holmes. He is Esquire Magazine's editor at large and he began his career at MTV on the show, Holmes meets celebrity guests at an airport bar. They discuss the hidden gems and must-do activities in different cities. For the Greenville episode, which debuts on July 12th, his celebrity guest is Peloton instructor Cody Rigsby. Holmes says one of his favorite places in the city of Greenville that are featured on the show are Sobeys, Gather Greenville, Pretty Place, and Sully Steamers. I love the food scene there. I'm a, I'm a, you know, obviously a huge, I don't know if I'm a foodie, but I like to eat. Uh, and Greenville is one of those, uh, one of those cities that has just an excellent culinary scene. Season three of In Transit is streaming right now on our very local app. Cincinnati, Kansas City, and Milwaukee are the other cities featured. You can download the very local app for free on Roku, Amazon Fire, Android, and Apple TV. Aaron, you and I just ordered Sully Steamers, or Sully Steamers last week. And it was so good. Yeah, it was I love delicious. it. We love food, too. <laughs> there were Tiger Paws in Paris, France for a multi-million dollar announcement at the Paris Air Show. General Electric and Clemson University announced a $10 million grant from the U.S. Air Force Research Laboratory. It'll fund research for next generation materials materials and aeronautics. The goal is to develop lightweight products that can withstand intense temperatures while flying at high speeds. Clemson says it's already made big investments to advance aerospace, energy and materials. We're at the forefront of uh, things like aerospace, energy and advanced manufacturing. And, and you know, at Clemson, we're investing big to further elevate these capabilities. The research is supported by Senator Lindsey Graham and Representative James Clyburn of South Carolina. Both applauded the benefits of the research toward national security and workforce development.